Hey, uh, so doing something a little bit different. I bought some books today and I thought maybe I'd do a book haul video. So, uh, one of my, my two oldest hobbies basically are one, video games, as you can tell, because I've been streaming a lot. But number two is actually reading books, which I'm guessing is probably not super surprising considering a lot of video game people have the nerdy hobbies. Um, but yeah, so I recently bought a bunch of books because I basically buy my books in bulk, so I just have a lot to read until next time I need to buy more. But yeah, so today I bought a bunch. So starting with three of the Court of Roses, uh, sorry, Court of Thorns and Roses um, series by Sarah J. Mess. Mass, Mass, sure, 100% in their pronunciation. So I read the first two and was pretty much committed to read a Present City series so far. I'm waiting on the third book, obviously. Um, yeah, so because there was a multiversal thing going on, that was like, cool, I may as well go back and read this one series as well. Turns out, I actually like it too. That's pretty good. Uh, next up is Joe Abercrombie's Half a Kid. So I read all of the Blade Itself series and then the following um, books that follow the same universe. I liked it. I liked his writing style. So I came out with a new book. I thought, screw it. Why not give it a try? Says that. Those, yeah, Alpha King. So, as you can tell, I like medieval fantasy quite a lot. Well, I am studying in the sci fi a bit more. Um, because I used to read the old, the altered carbon books, Eshi Kovac series that altered carbon was based on. Really disappointing. I find some, some of the changes I made, I'm not sure I agree with, but along that theme of sci fi, I got. Isaac Asimov's Foundation. So obviously Isaac Asimov is a very famous sci-fi author. I'd never read his stuff. So I thought, well, I'll jump in on that at some point. Um so I've been going back and reading some I kind of stuff so I show up times um compilation now. So yeah, so that again Philip K. Dick will probably come back at some point. And then Again, with the sci-fi theme, I, I am going to read Rebel Rising by Pierce Brown. Sorry, mate. Um, yeah, just another sci-fi. I heard good things. I'm going to jump into it as soon as I can. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just a quick thing. So if you want to just know a bit more about my reading history, read Harry Potter. Um, uh, I recently read um, the Son of Ice and Fire series. I grew up reading Rangers Apprentice, uh, which is not an Aussie author name. I can't remember his name now. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, and also Randy Feist, the Rift War Saga. That's what, like, I assumed all those books. It's funny because the first book I took forever to read, but then I read the second book and then from then I was just like blitzed straight through those. So yeah, I stopped reading them. I started reading them during high school and then I stopped. So then I reread them in uni and I ended up blitzing through the whole bloody series in the end. Then like, there was a different year. I just spent the whole year reading Sun Glass and Fire because um let's see what else in my favorites uh some more recent ones the never soft chronicle uh no never not chronicles by jay christoph also his series after that which is the empire of vampire i'm really eagerly waiting for the sequel for that one um and not as um like high tier as some of the other authors but there's one series called the rovia chronicles by michael j sullivan that i've been you know waiting on He's done a two prequel series. I've read the first prequel series and he's doing the second one now and I'm waiting for that to get released in Australia. Um, yeah. So that's kind of my sub very brief summary. Oh, actually, I now I remember. I did um, read a lot of, a bunch of, a little bit of crime every now and then. Um, I read the Millennium series like from start to finish. 
including the ones that weren't by the author who unfortunately passed away. I'm drawing a complete blank on this guy's name, and that's extremely embarrassing. Um, yeah, I read all those. I liked the English um, movie with Daniel Craig. Um, I did watch the Swedish one, but I don't know. Maybe it was just because I'm not going to speak Swedish. It just didn't apply as much with me. But it was still, I could tell it was well made. Um, but I was really disappointed when the, when they decided to release another movie. They went with the fourth book. It wasn't written by the original author. And they didn't. They just pretended the other one didn't exist, which really pissed me off. I really liked Daniel Craig and Rini Mara in the first one. No, not Rini Mara. She was in the Swedish one. Who was it? It's Rini Mara. Harrison. It, the one with Daniel Craig in it by David Fincher. Yes. <laughs> this is me. Um, but yeah, so if you have any recommendations in fantasy and sci-fi, feel free to leave them below. More than likely, I've probably already got them on my to read or read list. Um, yeah, if you're interested in more of these videos when I get books or maybe even after I finish a book, if you want me to do a quick review, please like, comment, and subscribe. If I get enough, many people's interaction with this, maybe I'll do this a bit more when I read the book. So at the moment, I'm actually reading um, I'm just going to do this in one shot because I'm not much of a um, animator, I mean an editor. Uh, apologies if the uh, audio was terrible. I'm using the mic off. Uh, so yeah, I am reading Brandy's, Brandon Sanderson, You Me and the you, Me and the Nightmare Painter. So I've read all of the Mistborn series, which I love. And I'm also up to date on the uh, Stormlight Archive. And I've read Elantris and all some of the other novels. And I've got the uh, so I've read all the short stories and the novellas as well um, that are in that. Uh, yeah, so this is my current reading. Uh, there's another, the next book after this one is called Scythe. I can't remember what the author is. And then after that will be this stack, although I might weave some in between um, some of the Sarah J Mass books because I'm waiting on some other books that they're not out yet. So if they come out before I get through this, do those in between. I won't do them. Do like Sarah J Mass, another book, Sarah J Mass, another book. Hang on when I get them. So yeah. Um, you're watching this on Thursday, uh, sorry, on Saturday, the 2nd of December. Uh, I'll be streaming again later to go to the shops, get some groceries, and then probably have dinner and stuff not long after. And once that's done, I'll be playing some more Uncharted later. Which, so if you want to check that out, please come to my Twitch channel, give me a follow, and you'll get a notification when I'm live. Yeah, I think that's it. Next time, later.